Good morning. Welcome to my patio as we share the Eucharist today for Sunday, the 7th of June. Today is Trinity Sunday. What is Trinity Sunday? Well, fairly obviously, it's the first Sunday after Pentecost. But specifically, Trinity Sunday celebrates the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And God uses each one of those persons to guarantee our salvation. Let us pray. You, Lord, are in this place. Your presence fills it. Your presence is peace. You, Lord, are in my heart. Your presence fills it. Your presence is peace. You, Lord, are in my life. Your presence fills it. Your presence is peace. It's a prayer written by David Adam. Now, if you'd like to go to your Anglican prayer book, um, I'm on page uh, 104, and we'll start uh, the service together. Just remember, please, that the readings are on a separate uh, the readings are on a separate um, video, as is the sermon for today. So you can either stop and go to it at the appropriate point, or watch those uh, videos separately. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Praise the Lord. Praise him, you servants of the Lord. Blessed be his name, now and forever. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. So, let's just take a moment before we say the Collect for Purity, or as it is also known, the Letting Go Prayer. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now we're going to go to a time of penitence. So let us confess our sins, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbor. Let's say together, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, Forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us, pardon our sins and set us free from them, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now the collect for... Trinity Sunday is this. God of unchangeable power, you have revealed yourself to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Keep us firm in this faith that we may praise and bless your holy name, for you are one God, living and reigning in glory, now and forever. Amen. This would be the point, of course, at which we would have the readings. So once again, if you want to break off and have those first, that's fine.
but I'm going on with the Nicene Creed, which we'll find on page 108. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and gloried, who has spoken through his prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And now a brief time of prayer. Lord God, you are God. You are creator of everything. All that you have made is good. And yet we look around us and we know that through the evolution of the world, so much bad has also come into being. We think especially of what is happening in the United States at the moment, where the sanctity of human life is cast aside just because you might not be the right color. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for our family and friends at this time. We thank you for those who sustain us, those who keep our spirit up, those who give us courage and give us joy and strengthen our faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we thank you, Father, that you are with us all of the time. There's not a moment in any day when you are not with us. We thank you, Father, that you consider us worthy to be that close to you. And we pray, Father, that we would never stray from you. We ask all this in your name. Amen. If we were in church, we would be sharing the peace, but we can still do it virtually. So Jesus said, love one another as I have loved you, for if you have this love amongst you, all will know that you are my disciples. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. And now, my friends, we will use the fourth Eucharistic prayer, which you will find on page 124. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. We give you thanks and praise, Almighty God, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Redeemer. He is your living Word, through whom you have created all things. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh of the Virgin Mary and shared our human nature. He lived and died as one of us to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. In fulfillment of your will, he stretched out his hands in suffering to bring release to those who place their, their hope in you, and so he won for you a holy people. He chose to bear our griefs and sorrows and to give up his life on the cross that he might shatter the chains of the evil one and banish the darkness of sin and death. By his resurrection, he brings us into the light of your presence. 
now with all of creation we raise our voices to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious God, accept our praise through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who on the night when he was handed over to suffering and death, took bread and gave you thanks, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. In the same way, he took the cup, saying, This is my blood, which is shed for you. When you do this, do it in memory of me. And so we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Remembering, therefore, his death, and resurrection, we bring before you this bread and this cup, giving thanks that you have made us worthy to stand in your presence and to serve you. We ask you to send your Holy Spirit upon the offering of your Holy Church. Gather into one all who share in these sacred mysteries, filling them with the Holy Spirit and confirming their faith in the truth, that together we may praise you and give you glory through your servant, Jesus Christ. All glory and honor are yours, Father and Son, with the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Church, now and forever. Amen. Beloved in Christ, the bread which we break is it not a sharing of the body of Christ? We who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us your peace. And now before we share communion, knowing that you cannot share it physically here with me, now if you would turn to page 516, come into my heart, Lord Jesus. There is room in my heart for you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, refresh me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Let me never be separated from you. From the malicious enemy, defend me. In the hour of my death, call me and bid me to come to you that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Draw near and receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is broken for you, and his blood which is shed for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith and with thanksgiving. body of Christ broken for you. The body of Christ broken for you. And the body of Christ broken for you. We give thanks to the Lord for he is gracious. God's mercy endures forever. And as we go out into the coming week, knowing 
all that lies before us, and yet knowing that we are not alone. We can say together, Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with you, with all whom you love, all whom you pray for, this day and forevermore. Amen. So, my friends, we have come to the end of our Eucharist, but be at peace and go to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Be blessed. Be safe. Till we meet again.